What up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm at David's place and we've got the S3 and the Prelude parked next to each other right now. We're about to do a little washing. I got a request from a subscriber asking to make a video on how to strictly wash the car with nothing but the IK9 and obviously some water. So that's what we're gonna do today. Prelude hasn't had a car wash in a little bit and definitely needs a refresher. So I'm gonna show you guys the process that I do that basically takes me through the steps of washing the car, the wheels, the paint, the exhaust, everything. So that's what we're gonna do today. Hopefully you guys like it. I am filming right now on the gimbal, so hopefully it looks pretty smooth. When I'm walking, it's definitely a lot more sturdy, so I hope you guys enjoy this footage. And I'm gonna try and get some gimbal shots too while, or once the car's clean, but if you guys can tell, no you can't. David's in the garage right now filming. We're gonna get some like drone shots while we're cleaning, gimbal shots, all sorts of stuff, so it should be fun. What up, Dave? What up? So today we're gonna be using the IK9, which is this guy here paired with some chemical guys, wash soap, and that's pretty much it. The whole thing here is to try and wash your car with minimal amount of stuff. So as you can see, we've got a wash mitt, a tire scrub brush, soap, some all-purpose cleaner, and the IK9 and hose. So we should be able to get this job done with nothing but this. If you guys haven't seen any of my videos where I've used the IK9, this is a non-electric, no batteries, nothing needed to use as a foamer. It's actually all compression based or pressure based, I should say. So you've got the nozzle here with a widespread tip on it so that way it foams real nice and you can set up the tips to do a dry foam or a wet foam. And I think right now we have it set up for wet foam. The IK9 is pretty simple actually. You've got a pressure release valve so if there is ever too much pressure or you need to release it, you can just pull that open. There's also a drain valve down here which you can use to empty out the water at the end. And then up top here you have the handle itself which does lock into place so I usually put my feet kind of down at the bottom just to hold it and then if you twist it clockwise it will release like that and now you have the thing fully extended and that is basically how you pressurize this just by pushing down and filling up like that so to open this up and get it ready for wash you want to go ahead and just kind of foot the bottom there and then just grab it and twist it counterclockwise you can actually hear some pressure released from last time Pull that out and that is what this looks like. And then obviously here you can fill up your soap and water. All right guys, so now that we have everything taken apart, we are ready to put some soap and water into this. I'm using some Chemical Guys cleaner. This is high gloss car wash soap. Uh, it's the V07 stuff, it's a hybrid. So it's got, I think some ceramic wax in it, but I'm not, don't quote me. But it's good stuff, smells great. Makes the prelude all nice. I would probably be somewhat generous with it you want to put enough in there so that way everything gets really sudsy. So don't be afraid to skimp, or no. So don't be afraid to not skimp out, just you know, put enough in there. And now we just need to put some water in this. There's a mark on the side here where, which will show you the different levels and you want to fill it up to the point where you need. I would say for the Prelude, you could probably get away with doing like three quarters full. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up just so you guys can see what it does. So once you've got the water and the soap mixed up, you don't need to do anything, just pop this back in twist it clockwise to tighten it and you'll hear it click into place and then you can twist it further to make sure that the seal is nice and tight. Again, it's pressure based so if at any point you hear hissing or air being released, that means you have a leak in it. So just double check everything. But in order to pressurize this, we're gonna twist it counterclockwise to unlock it, lift the handle up, and then you just wanna repeatedly pressurize it like this until you start hearing You'll start hearing something more like a whistling noise where this pressure release valve will start to engage like so. So just pressurize it until you get to that point. <laughs> now I've pressurized it, you can start to hear that it's completely pressurized. It's not gonna allow you to put any more pressure into the tank. So you can just twist it clockwise to lock it back in place and now you're good to go. Let me show you guys real quick the status of the Prelude because it's not looking too hot. These wheels have definitely been cleaner and the paint and everything is not looking too great. So it's definitely overdue for a wash and I'm excited to get this thing cleaned up. Nothing better than a nice uh, midweek wash, right Dave? Oh yeah. Yes sir. Fun fact, if you are in the Mass, New Hampshire area, please hit up my buddy Will over at Fusion 5 Motorsports. He sells the IK9 as well as a smaller handheld version that you can use 
pretty much just the same. It actually will work for one full car wash, so you can pick up either one. But um, if you guys aren't local to go into his shop, you can always pick this up online. I'll have a link down below, but if you guys are local, do me a favor. Fusion 5 Motorsports. So I guess for now, the next step is just gonna be to rinse down the whole prelude and make sure that we are getting off as much contaminants as possible before we lay down the foam. And that'll pretty much be it, guys. This whole process is very easy. It's basically the exact same as a normal car wash with even a pressurized pressure washer, but you're just doing it without electricity. So if you live in an apartment, you live in a place where maybe you don't have like a hookup for a generator or you know whatever it is a hose even i've done this same wash with nothing but the ik9 and a couple buckets to rinse the car off so this whole job can be done without electricity without a pressure washer and that's why i want to make it and shout out to one of you guys for commenting on the video i always listen and read all the comments and this was actually a recommended video idea from one of you guys so i appreciate it another pro tip is to grab your mats if they are rubber and not the carpets and just take those out so you can rinse them down and get them cleaned up while you're basically rinsing the rest of the car off. So if you guys aren't familiar with foam or foam guns or anything like that, the reason you want to do that is actually the suds in the soap pick up a lot of the loose dirt and even some of the cringier dirt that's stuck in the paint and actually pull it off the paint and let it run down before you even put a wash mitt on the car. So that's why it's crucial for keeping your paint nice and you see a lot of guys with like very expensive cars doing this type of wash is because it's pretty much the best you can do for the paint. And a foam gun mixed with like a ceramic coat on your paint is really all you need to get a easy wash. I mean, to the point where you wouldn't even have to put a mitt on it and ever touch the paint. So next up, now that we've got it rinsed off is to actually start foaming. And I've already got the IK9 all ready to go. So let's go ahead and foam this thing down. Just foam the car down for the first time. I'm actually gonna run over it twice with the foam. So the first time, like I'd mentioned, you wanna just foam the whole car and then let it just sit for a little bit. A couple minutes, probably like four or five minutes before the soap starts to dry. But basically what that is doing is allowing the soap and all the suds to pick up all the loose dirt and then basically just let it fall off the side of the car. So once this has a chance to dry up a little bit and the soap is ready to come off, I'm gonna rinse it and then foam it one more time and then that's when I'm actually gonna use the wash mitt to get all of the remaining dirt off the paint. I'm just gonna let this sit for about another minute, let the soap pull anything off. And right now Dave is setting up the drone so we can get some sweet aerial shots of me washing down the car. While he's getting the drone ready, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off for the first time. So basically still haven't touched the paint yet with anything other than the foam. Let's go ahead and rinse this down and get it ready for the second layer of foam. Now the prelude has been rinsed down and I think, I mean, I don't have the camera up close, but I think it shows that the prelude is already a lot cleaner just from that foam. I haven't even touched anything yet. Looks almost just as nice as that S3. <laughs> I guess next we're gonna go ahead and pop the drone up in the air and then I'm gonna go ahead and foam this down one more time and that is the soap that we're gonna use with the wash mitt to actually wipe down the car. And then after that, it's just cleaning up the wheels uh, rinsing the car and then wiping it down and then you're done that's the whole thing so and you don't even have to foam it twice that's just something I like to do because the IK9 if you fill it up all the way for such a small car like the Prelude you can actually wash it twice so it's your call I like to do it twice just to make sure I'm not scraping any of that existing dirt into the paint Dave's got the drone ready to go so we'll go ahead and take her off pretty sick
Let's go ahead and put the second layer of foam and then we're gonna grab the wash mitt and basically just wipe down the whole car to the best of our ability. So I basically just wiped down the whole car with the wash mitt, so now everything is good, and all we have left to do is rinse it. Car is all cleaned. I haven't dried it yet, but it actually is starting to rain, which is pretty inconvenient, so it is what it is. At least we got all the dirt and brake dust off. Guys, look at this bead right now. 30 year old Honda paint guys, this is original, unreal. The paint came out pretty good, the wheels, I didn't use any wheel degreaser on them just cause I didn't think they were that bad. But um, I think polishing these would definitely help. It's been a couple weeks since I did it, but the paint itself actually looks really good. Definitely happy with the Chemical Guys shampoo. Makes the car smell nice. It's pretty citrusy, kind of orangey. Prelude is all cleaned up. What the hell is that? Tanner Fox, get out of here. Oh! <laughs> The Prelude is all cleaned up. It actually did stop raining, so that's nice. And it does look pretty clean. Yo, do a sick trick or something, man. Oh! Connor's thinking about potentially wrapping this here Prelude. What are you guys thinking for colors? I think we're torn between a nice shade of white or maybe like a, a Canardo gray. I don't know if that's what you're thinking, but I feel like that could look cool. I've been thinking off-white, like a nice cream, but barely cream, not even sand. Not even tan, just like a simple off-white. I've also heard a lot of people recommend green for this car. It's kind of like a weird seafoam green. I don't even know what you would call this color, but I think green would look really good, like a very dark forest. And then a lot of people have been telling me in the comments to do like a two-tone. So the bottom half of the car would be one color, and then the top half of the car would be another color. So the options are endless, guys. What do you guys think? Maybe we should do like some really JDM kind of like Surikawa, or not Surikawa, but like some Chinese blossoms up the side of it or something. Oh, you could definitely do that with- On like a white car, I think that would look gnarly. White, I could also see like that, uh, that typical like JDM, like bright blue. It's almost like Fox, oh, like a, Fox of Supreme Blue. Yeah, that thing was like Hot Wheels blue. Yeah. That would be cool. Okay, that's cool, like a matte blue almost. I also think a really dark cherry would oh. be really nice on this car, or like maybe- maroon? Like Dude. that, like that V7 S. S yes, maroon. yes, that maroon, that like burgundy, or maybe even um, like a very, very dark, like a midnight purple, where in the shade it almost looks like a black car, but then once you bring it out into the sunlight, then you can kind of get that tinge of purple. But with the wheels being a very bright color, I'm really wanting to keep the dark paint just so we have that nice contrast. I think white would really change up the look of the car, and I'm not sure how it would look with the wheels but I definitely dig the dark color. One reason I wanted to make this IK9 video, not just because someone asked, but I think it's a really good video to make because there's so many people, including myself, who like live in an apartment, don't have a nice house to wash their car, don't have a driveway, don't have a hose. So there's sometimes you just gotta make do with what you have. And I think for the IK9, that really helps us. And if you can figure out the rinse process, then you basically have the whole car washed. And typically if I'm at my place, because I don't have a hose hookup, what I do is I fill up two, basically like two two gallon buckets of water, and that's usually enough to rinse the prelude off. So I can basically get the whole job done without electricity and without a hose and clean my car, which is great. And I've even brought like a bucket of water and I have a lid from the bucket. I'll fill that up, prep the IK9, take it to the show, and then wash the car at the side of the show, just because it's that easy. So I just wanna make this video for you guys in case any of you are in my situation where you don't have access to a place to wash your car and you can make use of the IK9. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. We're gonna probably go capture some pictures, maybe get a little photo shoot action going on. So I might bring you guys along. Yeah.